Good morning. About a mile down the road from me here at James Weldon Johnson Park, you'll find Soulsbacker. They're located right behind JSO. And already at this time of morning, there's usually a crowd of homeless people there because it is a safe place for them. And it's also a place they can cool off during this oppressive heat that we're going to experience today. The urban rest stop is what they call it. Open seven days a week. It offers showers. There's case management there trying to get people off the streets. On days above 90, they take the urban rest stop mobile unit out. That's the bus you see. Now, the HOPE team will bring out water. They'll bring out supplies to the homeless camps around town. And their long-term goal is to get these people off the street. But on weeks like this one, their short-term goal is to keep people safe. We go out into the camps, we know where they're living, we bring them water, we try to engage with them and bring them inside, get them out of the elements so that they'll be safe. On days like today, Sulzbacher says they could always use donations of water, of snacks, of emergency kits, but it's also a good idea for you to just maybe buy some extra water bottles, buy some extra snacks at the store. If you do happen to be driving around some area, you see someone in need, just pass them out because people are going to need them this week. Leah Shields, First Coast News on your side.